Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is on the string A, C, E, D, B are hung three equal weights Q symmetrically placed with respect to the vertical line through the midpoint E. Determine the value of the angles beta if the other angles are as shown in figure. So in this figure, a string A, C, E, D, B is hung by three weights symmetrical, symmetric uh, about the vertical line. So this side Q uh, in the middle Q and this side a weight Q is hung. So angle between this horizontal and this side of the string is 60 degrees. Similarly, angle here is 60 degrees. So in this problem, we need to find angle beta. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. Now let us see forces and reactions. So at this point, see a force uh, weight Q is acting downwards and this side of the string will experience a tension S1 and this side of the string will experience a tension S3. Similarly, at point E, weight Q is acting downwards, this side S1, this side S2. At D also, Q is acting downwards, this side S2, this side S4. So now let us see at point C. At point C, the free bar diagram is drawn here. Weight Q is acting downwards, S1 is acting towards this direction. Angle between horizontal and S1 is beta. Uh, similarly, S3 is acting towards this direction. Angle between horizontal and S3 is 60 degrees since this is 60 degrees. Now let us see free bar diagram at E. So at E, we have again weight Q is acting downwards. S2 is acting towards this direction. Angle between horizontal and S2 is beta. Again, S1 is acting towards this direction. Angle between S1 and B, uh, angle between S1 and horizontal is beta. Let us see at point E, uh, for equilibrium sigma fx equal to zero. So sigma fx can be written as S1 cos beta the horizontal component of S1 uh, equal to S2 cos beta, the horizontal component of S2. So that from this we get S1 equal to S2 since cos beta I and cos beta here will get cancelled. So at uh, sigma Fy equal to 0, now let us see sigma Fy. So along vertical axis we have S1 sin beta that is vertical component of S1 plus S2 sin beta vertical component of S2 both are acting upwards so we put plus and plus that equal to q q is acting downwards so we know that s1 equal to s2 so let us substitute s1 equal to s2 in this we get 2 s1 sin beta equal to q let us call that equation 1 now let us see forces and reactions at point c at point c we have q acting downwards and s1 is acting towards this direction and angle between horizontal and s1 is beta s3 is acting towards this direction and angle between horizontal and S3 is 60 degrees. Now let us see sigma fx equal to 0. So horizontal forces, we have horizontal component of S1 towards this direction is S1 cos beta and horizontal component of S3 towards this direction is S3 cos 60. So S1 cos beta equal to S3 cos 60. So from this we get cos 60 equal to, uh, we know that cos 60 equal to 1 by 2. So after substituting cos 60, we get S3 equal to 2S1 cos beta. Let us call that equation 2. Now let us see sigma Fy equal to 0. So uh, along y direction, we have Q acting downwards and S1 is also, uh, vertical component of S1 will also be acting downwards and vertical component of S3 will be acting upwards. So we have S3 sin 60 minus S1 uh, sin beta minus q equal to 0. So we know that sin 60 equal to square root of 3 by 2 and from 1 we know that q equal to 2 s1 sin beta. Let us substitute these values we get uh, s3 square root of 3 by 2 minus s1 sin beta minus 2 s1 sin beta equal to 0. So after simplification we get s3 into square root of 3 by 2 equal to 3 s1 sin beta. We know from 2 Oh, S3 equal to 2 S1 cos beta. So let us substitute that. Uh, in this we get S3 equal to 2 S1 cos beta. Uh, let us substitute that in this. We get 2 S1 cos beta square root of 3 by 2 equal to 3 S1 sin beta. Now here S1 and S1 get cancelled and also 2 and 2 also get cancelled. So from this we get 
sin beta by cos beta equal to square root of 3 by 3. So sin beta by cos beta is tan beta. Tan beta equal to 1 by square root of 3. We know that tan 30 equal to 1 by square root of 3. So from this we get beta equal to 30 degrees. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.